Um, now onto sort of some some more hypotheticals, I think. Uh, and obviously, there's been some links to, to to players in the transfer market. You know, it wouldn't be a, a scouted football podcast during the transfer window if we didn't discuss some potential moves. Um, but there was one which was of particular interest to us, considering that he was on the, the cover of uh, Volume Ten uh, of the Scouted Football Handbook, and that was Kamaldine Sulemana, who is at FC Nordjylland in Denmark. Uh, and there's been a lot of speculation about him potentially joining AFC Ajax uh, in the Netherlands, of course. Uh, but also the, there's been speculation that Manchester United may hijack that move. Um, I think it's 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 an intriguing one. It's certainly curious um, considering that Ajax has been you know the, the club which is the, perhaps got the clearest development pathway in youth football for, for God knows how long. Um, and to to jeopardise that by going to a club like Manchester United where the expectation is inflated, the the um, the competition for places is inflated. Um, that would be it. Would be an interesting move to say the least. It would be a bold one. Um, but what what are your thoughts on that pretend that you know that stealing Suleimana away from Ajax? Uh, well, first of all, stealing him away from Nordschland, which is the business model. Um, what are your thoughts on on that as a potential potential uh, little little wrinkle of the transfer window? Yeah. So again, I think this is a, a it's. It, it's always uh, intriguing to approach these things from, from both sides. Like I think, like you mentioned, uh, I think from, from Solomana's uh, perspective, I would not choose Manchester United in this particular situation at this juncture in his career. I, I think the jump from Denmark to England could be dramatic. Um, I also think he's just not in line to play minutes, even though where he's at in his career, he's, he's a senior side player. He's playing senior minutes uh, in, in Denmark, and he would be playing senior minutes starring for Ajax in, in Amsterdam. Uh, so I think ultimately uh, the, the, the choice that I want him to make, which would be going to United because he's, he's an electric player. He really is lightning in a bottle. Uh, he's brilliant to watch that feature uh, by Alex in, in the last, uh, in the last uh, scouted football edition was brilliant. Uh, so, so despite all of my, uh, my personal preferences, how much I would love to see him at United, I think it's probably the wrong career move. Yeah, I think I'd be inclined to agree with you there. Um, I, that was kind of, I was, I was leading you with that question. Um, I was, I was, get, I was getting, I was getting to a point where I was kind of going, come on, come on, agree with me here. Um, but <laughs> it was, yeah, it, I, I think so too. I think it would be, um, for, coming from a club like Nordsjylland who, you know, you know, pledge a lot of focus on development uh, of, of young players. I think it would be um, quite a switch uh, to, to to choose Manchester United over a club like Ajax. I mean, even going to Ajax would be a big step up. Um, but yeah, I think the 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 pathways is a is a it's a bright one for Sulemana. Uh, but I think yeah, uh, as as a as a neutral observer, I, I, I'd definitely prefer it if he didn't make that that leap uh, right away um, and perhaps went to a. You know, as we were saying earlier, you know, not a top five European league, but but a, an Eredivisie, for example, or 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 a, or a league of similar stature, uh, but to one of the big boys there, um, because yeah, you, I mean, you look at the options in wide areas. You know, Sancho, Greenwood, Rashford, Ahmad. Uh, we're forgetting we're forgetting um, Facundo Polistri as well. Um, obviously, Dan James. There are a lot of options, and that's even before you get into potentially playing him as, as a centre forward, um, which I think would be a, a car crash uh, in in England at the moment, just given his given his his lack of you know physical um, what would you say presence. Uh, I think it, it would be it would be very difficult for him. But um, yeah, I, I I think Suleiman is certainly a, a player that I'd, I'd implore people to watch more of. Um, certainly, if he remains at Nordsjylland, uh, but definitely if he moves anywhere else across Europe this summer. Um, because he is just, as you put it, and I, yeah, I mean, I love that expression, lightning in a bottle. Uh, he he really is just a, a a really exciting player. I mean, I think we've we've shared on the account a few times actually uh, that uh, the, the Danish commentators, when Sulemana does something which is particularly outrageous, they just start giggling, they just start laughing, chuckling on in, in the middle of commentary because it's like, can you believe it? This guy's done it again. Uh, and you know, at his age, um, it's it, it's very exciting to see that. Obviously, Nordsjylland being the club that they are uh, have, have have produced well, right to dream the right to dream academy, uh, and and as a result, Nordsjylland have produced a, a player of such uh, such uh, incredible uh, ability um, who is 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 attracting interest from Manchester United. I think that's something we've just glossed over there. Um, so yeah, he, he's certainly one with a with a very bright future. 
do think an interesting uh, bit about the interest in Solomana is that uh, not only uh, the, is Solomana a winger, but he has experience, like you mentioned, at, at center forward. Um, not only that, uh, Greenwood also has experience both at right wing and center forward now. And Diallo, Ahmad Diallo, has experience across the front line. Uh, Solskjaer actually played him at center forward um, at one point later on in the season. Uh, and so I think that's an interesting, uh, w- a potentially interesting window into the way Solskjaer is building this side long term. Uh, I think there's a lot of discussion in, in United fan circles that, he oh, he wants this fluid interchanging front three. He doesn't want uh, set positions. And I think maybe, I've, I've been a skeptic towards that idea, but I think maybe this is a, sort of him tipping his hand and, and maybe this interest is indicative of the fact that he's looking for a third, uh, a, a third forward who he sees fitting into that uh, very long-term vision of his, his front three. No, yes, certainly. I, th- I think it is. Uh, it's one thing that I hadn't considered um, because, yeah, as you mentioned, uh, was it against AC Milan where he scored that, when Ahmad scored that little back header um, and he was he was playing in sort of a, a centre forward role? I might be getting my games mixed up, but I do I do vividly remember uh, that that goal. 